Well, though, like she can dance. Like I've seen strippers, and she got <laughs> dope tricks. Like dope. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome to the new vlog. <laughs> vlog uh so today what we're gonna do is uh, obviously by the title we're gonna uh, i'm gonna tell you guys my top five beginning mistakes i made like when i was just getting into lifting uh but what we're gonna do is i'm gonna film my workout and like in between each set or whatever uh we're just gonna i'm gonna break it down for you guys going through the list and kind of explaining it so let's get into it bro well uh today we're gonna film uh the meal prep uh, Do I look swole, bro? And Christian Guzman uh, eating his deal meal prep that I made. I was literally going to say, shout out to Hunter because he's supplying the fuel for this workout. It's good, too. Honestly, this is pretty good. Could use a little All more organic. salt, but like, other than that, you're good. So, yeah, shout out to Hunter supplying the fuel for this workout. Uh, I'm gonna go try to do a heavy leg day. We'll see how it works, how it goes. Had a really good chest day yesterday. Let's keep that momentum going. So, first mistake uh, that I made as a beginning lifter was ego lifting, which basically just like, you don't know what that is? It's lifting more weight than you can actually handle. Um, like, especially for a dude, like, it's really common for dudes to do when they get into like the gym. They're like, just wanna push really heavy weight, and they wanna lift as much as the guy that's been lifting for 10 years already, you know? So, first mistake I made was just getting into it, not like caring about actual contractions and, and the mind muscle connection that you need to actually develop the muscle. Um, that's the first mistake. And uh, it took took a while for me to to realize that uh, I was I was doing more harm than good and like not really getting anywhere. But let's get into the next one. Alright, the next one is not eating enough to support the new lifestyle that I was trying to make. So, when I was just starting to lift, I was really just eating whatever, like, really bad food. I just thought that I just needed to eat a lot to gain weight, which is true. You need to be in a surplus. But I didn't really do it smart. Like, I wasn't, count I wasn't counting anything. I was just kind of, like, stuffing my face with whatever. Um, and uh, for a skinny guy who's trying to build muscle, that's one thing that I wish I would have done differently. For sure, is just, like, grow or calculate my macros out to where I'm in a consistent surplus to where I'm not like getting gaining too much fat but I'm still trying to like build good solid lean muscle which in the beginning stages um, you're going to build muscle in like the first six months anyways and it's going to be a lot but uh, I could have taken advantage of it and done a little bit smarter and I could have one I could have built more like solid dense muscle in the first six months of my lifting um, if I would have done that one thing a little bit differently uh, along with trying to learn you know how to form and biomechanics and stuff like that with all my lifts but we'll get into that in a minute
Actually, the only reason I'm including this one is because I see it a lot. Um, and also because I made this mistake, but it's the military press. And basically, uh, I'm including it because you can injure yourself doing this movement. But what happens is the military press is like you go behind your head with the bar and then you press up. What that does is it causes the rotator cuff to like overextend a little bit. And you can injure your rotator cuff, you can even tear it. Um, if you're not careful. So uh, that kind of knocked me out of the gym for like two months in the beginning stages, which of course slowed down my my gains that I was trying to make. Uh, but yeah, don't do that one, that one sucks. Um, and that's just, that kind of goes along with not knowing like proper biomechanics and um, form and stuff like that. This next one, also my earphones died, so my whole workout is ruined. But also this, uh, my next one is uh, doing too much cardio. So in the beginning stages of my lifting, like I literally had just, uh, like I, I said that I wasn't gonna like, you know, competitively run anymore. I didn't wanna run any 5Ks, I didn't wanna run any half marathons. I, I was literally just like, cause I mean, if you don't know, my background before lifting, I, I was a cross country runner and I ran like half marathons and stuff like that for fun. Um, you know, it was really hard like to just completely let go of running just to lift and, and get bigger. So um, I was still like doing a lot of cardio and lifting weights. Um, so I, I'd, I'd be exercising, you know, probably four or five hours a day just between lifting weights and doing cardio. If I'm running for two hours a day and I'm in the gym for an hour and a half to two hours, you know, it's like four hours. So I was definitely burning a lot of calories and that was not helping me make any gains at all but uh, that's the that's the one thing is too many people do too much cardio too soon and they don't really worry about or they don't really care about building muscle they think you're just gonna build muscle but uh, to gain build muscle you have to be in a surplus of calories and I was eating a lot but I was also um, I was also running a lot and that kind of screwed screwed up my progress in the first six months because again like you're gonna make the most progress ever in your lifting at the beginning and then from that point on it's going to slow down but yeah, yeah. let's uh let's lift uh what is this it's, uh 45 25 and a 10 that's 40 60. so it's 205 i got 205 <coughs> on the bar which actually i think i just completed that so i need to increase it let's do So this has absolutely nothing to do with the video, but basically what I'm doing right now is I'm doing squats and I've been doing this to kind of uh, increase my strength a little bit, but I'll warm up with nothing on the bar. Uh, then I'll do five reps for everything that is under one plate. So if it's 45, 45 pound plate, I'm gonna do one, uh, five reps for everything under that. Then once I get past that point, I'll start doing three reps. So beyond 45 pound plates, up, like working my way up to this. I'll do like a 45 and a 10, 45 and two 10s, 45 and a 25, and then I'll do 45 and 25 and a 10, and then I'll jump up to this, and then after I get past two plates, I start doing one rep until I basically max out and can't do anymore, and that's it. I love that sound.
Yeah. All right, so the last thing um, on the list, sorry, I'm getting my messages are blown up. All right, the last thing on the list is basically like believing all the lies and stuff in the company. So like, I'm not saying they're all like this, but if you walk into something in the store, a lot of these guys, you know, especially like someone who, like me, who obviously looks like you just started lifting, they're not that knowledgeable on fitness. You know, they they take advantage of that and they try to sell you basically anything. So, um, I, I believe that you know I needed all this stuff to make gains and blah blah blah. Like I needed uh, I needed glutamine and I needed BCAs, which is actually hold up before before we back up. Well, no, I'll I'll, I'll take I'll say it. Um, you know, I need like this test booster. I need this fat burner. I need all this stuff. You know. If I'm, if I'm trying to get in the best shape of my life, I need this thermogenic to help me, you know, stay lean and get vascular and blah blah blah. Like they would, you know, they'll tell you anything to get you to buy, you know, whatever it is they're trying to sell or promote. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, that's one of the things I did. Was like, I just basically bought whatever they were like, whatever they said would help. Um, and, and you kind of learn, you know, like who you can trust. Uh, if you go to like, if you go to somewhere consistently, um, but that was one thing I did was like I bought like I spent a lot of money on supplements that I didn't need. Um, now I'll, I'll tell you this: my top supplements that I, I do recommend, uh, especially if you're trying to gain weight, protein powder is number one because if you if you're not hitting enough protein in your diet, like that you get from chicken or steak or you know whatever meat you're eating, um, definitely get protein powder because your protein level your protein level needs to be needs to be up there uh, if you don't know what it is it's normally one gram per pound of body weight um, that's if you want to maintain <clears throat> for myself I, I do anywhere up between like uh, like 1.5 to like almost two two times per pound of body weight so if I'm not two times no that's way too much like 1.5 1.5 is the max but <clears throat> Definitely the high protein intake uh, if you're trying to gain muscle. The next thing that I would recommend is BCAs, um, just because BCAs do help with muscle growth. It kind of helps with recovery, helps keep you um, hydrated in the gym. Um, kind of take that as like an intro workout. So while you're working out, sip on, sip on some BCAs instead of water, uh, and then definitely take water throughout the day. Next one, actually, I would say is creatine. Um, just which creatine really what what it does is it'll kind of pull, well, creatine, like monohydrate, will pull water into your muscles, which in turn will actually put water in your muscles, which will help you lift stronger, which eventually will translate over into um, gaining a little more strength. But it's also just a, a good thing to have. Like, uh, the, people think that you should uh, get off of creatine when you're cutting, but that's, that's false. You can stay on all year round. Uh, what's the next thing? I can't think of a... I used to have like a list of like supplements that, that I would recommend. Um, <coughs> you don't need pre-workout. Pre-workout is BS. Uh, that's, you can actually get addicted to it. You obviously know you know how I feel about pre-workout. I did a video on the things that are in pre-workout or what some, some companies put in pre-workout to like get you addicted to it. But um, those are definitely my top three. So you don't need anything really beyond that. Uh, for joint health and, and, and brain health and heart health, uh, fish oils would be good. Um, you can incorporate that. Definitely get oh multivitamins. Multivitamins. If you're not hitting your, your micronutrients and like your uh, your veggies and stuff like that, uh, then definitely something in a multivitamin. Take one like it, like in the, the day with at the beginning of the day with like some water and some breakfast or whatever. Um, and uh, that's basically it. I'm gonna do. This is 315 on the bar I have right I have 315 on the bar right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to go up a little bit more. And uh, my voice is cracked because I'm 12. And that'll be it.
Alright guys, so as you saw, I failed at 335 pounds on the free bar. I was kind of hoping I could do more, but I'm not too mad about the performance. Uh, wasn't wasn't terrible. Um, I was hoping I could do more. I was, I was trying to shoot for um, 365, but that didn't happen today. It wasn't in the books. Um, but yeah, that's basically the, the, the video today. Uh, those are my top five uh, beginner mistakes that I, that I wish would have known more about as a beginning lifter. So yeah, if you're just trying to like, if you're starting off, beware, man. Beware of those things, you know. Make sure you're not doing too much cardio. Make sure you're not uh, believing all the lies of like people at supplement stores and stuff like that because they will get you. And um, what else, man? Uh, I said don't do, do too much cardio. Make sure you're eating enough to support your your uh, lifestyle. If you're, if you're trying to gain more weight and, and build muscle, you need to be in a surplus. If you're trying to lose weight, um, you need to be in a deficit. Um, <coughs> form, don't be an ego lifter. Uh, again, like this is something that I see, I still see a lot of people do it. Like I'm about three and a half years into, uh, into my lifting and I've gotten to the point now where I've, I've, I've built enough, uh, enough strength to where I can like, I can lift heavier than a lot of guys that are, you know, two times my weight. Um, so pound for pound for pound, I'm pretty strong. Um, now it's not like I'm not like super. I don't have like super impressive strength or anything. But um, don't be an ego lifter. Don't don't lift too much weight that you can handle. That doesn't mean don't lift heavy. Like I definitely encourage lifting heavy. If you want to build muscle, you need to lift heavy. Um, but you don't want to be lifting so much to where like your your, your form is struggling, and uh, you just want to be able to develop that mindless connection. Especially if you're a beginning lifter, like you need to be in that like 8 to 12 rep range but like you need to be struggling around uh, around the, tw the, the 12 reps so um, I feel like I'm, I'm missing one more man oh yeah the shoulder press yeah just like honestly the the, the military press I mean like behind the head <sighs> if you're if you've been lifting for a while and, and you're like flexible and everything like that like that's not too it's not too bad but uh, I personally stay away from it just because my own experience with it um, it's just not it's not it's not I I wouldn't recommend it for anyone just because it is dangerous and you can hurt yourself especially if you're, you're lifting really heavy <coughs> so I mainly stick to like uh, barbell press um, just but obviously it would come in front of me and I, I stick with uh, dumbbell shoulder press when I'm trying to do stuff like that but yeah don't uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Don't do that. Uh, but that's basically uh, that's basically the, uh, the, 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 the the vlog, guys. Thank you for uh, listening to my TED talk. All right, get muscles. You know what to do. Peace.